Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that might seem a little off the beaten path but is incredibly relevant if you're serious about muscle building and self-improvement. We're talking about fasciculation, or muscle twitching. This might be something you've experienced during or after an intense workout, or maybe even when you're just relaxing. Stick around to the end because we're going to cover what causes these twitches, how to manage them, and most importantly, how they relate to your muscle building journey. First off, let's break down what fasciculation actually is. Fasciculation refers to those small, involuntary muscle contractions that you might notice as a twitch. These twitches are generally harmless and can occur in any muscle of the body. They're often visible under the skin and can be pretty annoying, especially if they persist. But why do they happen, and should you be worried? Well, the causes of fasciculation can vary. One common cause is fatigue, especially after a heavy workout. When you push your muscles to the limit, they can sometimes respond with these little twitches as a kind of post-exercise echo. It's like your muscles are saying, hey, that was a lot of work. Other common triggers include stress, anxiety, caffeine intake, and dehydration. As muscle builders, we often consume a lot of supplements and energy drinks, some of which are loaded with caffeine. This can be a double-edged sword, giving you the energy boost you need but also potentially leading to more muscle twitches. Another factor to consider is your diet and nutrition. Electrolytes like potassium, magnesium, and calcium play a crucial role in muscle function. If your diet is lacking in these, or if you're sweating a lot and not replenishing your electrolytes, you might experience more frequent fasciculations. Make sure you're getting a balanced diet and consider adding a good electrolyte supplement if you're working out intensely. Now, let's talk about how fasciculations might affect your muscle building efforts. The good news is that, in most cases, muscle twitches are harmless and don't indicate any serious issues. They're more of an annoyance than anything else. However, they can be a signal that your body needs a bit more TLC, maybe a bit more rest, better hydration, or some adjustments to your diet. If you're experiencing frequent fasciculations, it might be worth examining your workout routine. Overtraining can put a lot of stress on your muscles and nervous system, leading to more frequent twitches. Make sure you're incorporating enough rest days into your routine and not pushing your muscles too hard without giving them time to recover. Remember, muscle growth happens during rest and recovery, not just during the workout itself. Speaking of recovery, let's not forget the importance of sleep. Poor sleep can contribute to muscle twitches as well. Aim for at least 7-9 to nine hours of quality sleep per night. This is when your body repairs itself and grows stronger. If you're skimping on sleep, you're not just risking more muscle twitches, but also hindering your overall muscle growth and performance. So, what can you do if you're already experiencing muscle twitches? First, try to stay calm. Stressing out about them can actually make them worse. Focus on hydration. Drink plenty of water throughout the day, and consider a sports drink or electrolyte supplement if you've had a particularly intense workout. Pay attention to your diet, ensuring you're getting enough of those key electrolytes like potassium, magnesium, and calcium. Stretching can also help. Gentle stretches can relieve muscle tension and help prevent twitches. Incorporate a good stretching routine after your workouts to keep your muscles flexible and reduce the likelihood of fasciculations. Foam rolling and massage can also be beneficial, helping to release muscle tightness and improve blood flow. If you find that your twitches are persistent and don't seem to be linked to your workouts, it might be worth checking in with a healthcare professional. While rare, frequent muscle twitches can sometimes be a sign of underlying medical conditions like nerve disorders. It's always better to be safe and get a professional opinion if something feels off. Alright guys, we're getting towards the end of the video but stick with me because I've got some bonus tips for you. One often overlooked factor is your mental health. High levels of stress and anxiety can significantly contribute to muscle twitches. Practicing mindfulness, meditation, or even just taking some time each day to relax can make a big difference. Reducing stress not only helps with fasciculations but also enhances your overall well-being and muscle-building efforts. Another tip is to watch your stimulant intake. Caffeine is great for that pre-workout boost, but too much can lead to increased muscle twitches. Try to balance your caffeine intake and be mindful of how it affects your body. Some people are more sensitive to caffeine and may need to cut back if they notice a lot of twitching. Lastly, don't underestimate the power of a good warm-up and cool down. Properly warming up your muscles before a workout can prevent a lot of issues, including twitches. 
A good cool-down routine can help your muscles transition smoothly from a state of high activity to relaxation, reducing the likelihood of post-workout fasciculations. In summary, muscle twitches, or fasciculations, are usually harmless and often related to your workout habits, diet, hydration, and stress levels. By taking care of your body, staying hydrated, eating a balanced diet, managing stress, and getting enough rest, you can minimize these twitches and stay on track with your muscle building goals. Thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future content. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or if there's a topic you'd like us to cover in a future video. Keep pushing towards your goals, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.